Here's the door to the firebox. And you can either peek inside the firebox and see what's going through this hole here, or you can open the whole firebox. And indeed, it's a genuine firebox or fireplace, and you can see the ceramic fire brick down on the bottom. We're standing inside of the firebox of a steam locomotive. That means that if this locomotive were in operation, there would be flames down by my feet, they would be rising up, and they would be coming upwards this way, all around, this whole space would be engulfed in, 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 in fire. Here I am at the front end of the boiler, the front end of the locomotive. People would call this the boiler, but this should not be called the boiler. I am in a thing called the smoke box. Back here is the boiler. I'm in the smoke box. Now, these are the tubes that go back, that go back to the to the firebox. Remember, you saw the other end of these tubes already. And they come through the water, and they exhaust into this smoke box chamber. And so the steam does two jobs. One, it drives the piston that makes the locomotive go. But two, it makes the suction that makes the draft that makes the fire go back there. And that mixing occurs inside of the smoke box, which is right in the front end of the locomotive. This is the engine of the locomotive. This is the thing that makes the locomotive go. There's a rod that goes in here, and hidden inside of here is a piston about this big around. And this piston is what the steam works on. How does the steam work on this piston? 